Hello. So today I'm going to give the new revised instructions for how to post to It's Learning. So first things first, you're going to need to sign in to It's Learning. You can do that either by going through Hello ID or by going through the It's Learning app. When you get to your It's Learning app, you're going to come to your home page, which should have a list of all of the different courses that you are in. Looks like I'm going to have to sign in here. So remember, your username should be the same as your username for your email and the same for Hello ID, and your password is going to be the same as it is for Hello ID. Alrighty, once you have typed in your information, you are going to hit the green sign in button, and it might bring you to whatever course you were last in, or it'll bring you to your home page. Remember that your course should be art and then our school name. So I'm going to click on this course here. When you click on your course, it's going to bring you to these grade level numbers. You are going to click on the grade level that you are in. Um, you can also click on this resource folder, which is where you can find this video as well as several other videos. I'm going to hit the one for first grade because that's the grade I'm going to be modeling today. When you click on the number, it's going to take you to your folder where you should have all of your assignments. You're going to find the assignment that you are answering today. So for my purposes, I am answering the Clay Penguins assignment. And I'm going to click on the blue, and that's going to take me to my assignment. Now for you, your screen is going to look a little bit differently at this step. Yours is going to show a green button that says Answer Assignment. I am going to pick someone that I'm going to answer the assignment on behalf. Alrighty, so I have Taylor's penguin here. So I will, cl you'll click your green button that says answer assignment and it's going to bring you to this window when it loads all the way. Now, for those of you who've been doing this with me for a while, you'll know that we used to click on that button. However, now that our iPads are updated, we can no longer put a picture here. If you try to put a picture here, it's gonna say that your file is too big or it's gonna tell you that you've already submitted your file. So instead, we're gonna hit Add Files down here. So I'm gonna hit Add Files. I'm gonna hit Files again. Your icon will look more like a computer there. And that's gonna bring us to our familiar window. Now, depending on what you need to do is gonna depend on what option you select here. So today, I'm gonna be taking a photo, but you might be selecting a photo from Photo Library. If you select a photo from Photo Library, once you have selected your photo, you'll put done up at the top, and then the steps will match up for you. So I'm gonna take a photo. I have my lovely clay penguin here. I'm gonna set it on the ground so that I can have my iPad over it. I'm gonna make sure that my photo is in focus, that it's well lit, that I'm seeing how fabulous this clay penguin is. Once I like it, I will take that picture I can hit use photo if I liked the photo or retake if I don't like the photo. I'm gonna hit use photo today. And then what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this bar turn green and then it'll turn white. You should see something that says image JPEG there. If you scroll down, once it's turned white again, your button will be green to click submit. Remember that you need to wait for this to load. So after it loads, you get your spinning wheel. It should change to saying in blue, not corrected. Now, for those of you who are taking your photos, you probably will not get to see a preview here until you click on the words image JPEG up at the top. So don't worry, if you see the picture there, you're good to go. And that uh, is the new steps for how to photograph to its learning.